matchy matchy today i don't often get a chance to wear my red hat i got a new red shirt it's supposed to be 60 degrees today uh, i am in it to win it today nothing better than putting on a new outfit especially when it matches my i buy houses hat might do about 10 12 videos today just so i can do videos <laughs> uh just so i can uh wear my red hat with my red shirt i'm pretty proud of this thing i was waiting for this shirt to come it's a new brand i never had before called roback i think it's pretty cool it's got like this little dog on the front and it's got like a small american flag on the back it's pretty cool stuff got a bunch of people on here already dennis what's up mike capo my brother keith kohler how are you uh, I want to talk about something that's a little sensitive to me, um, and I don't often even reflect on it or talk about it, but I've certainly never forgot um, where I came from, and, and, and part of what makes me who I am today is, is what I had to, 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 to deal with um, growing up as a kid, and uh, it really scares me to think about I mean, just talk about my my teenage son, who's a sophomore, was a sophomore in high school, and how I think this lockdown or quarantine feels so much like what I went through at the same age that went so badly. And it's for a completely different set of reasons. Uh, but at the same time, I think that the, the possibility of the outcome being the same is pretty high. And I'll explain first what I went through at, at, at this age and how that, you know, worked out for me or didn't work out. I mean, uh, all's, all's well that works out in the end. Um, but I went through an extremely tough patch of, of, of my uh, adolescence and, and, and being a young adult um, that was extremely difficult. I mean, it, it almost um, and landed me in jail a couple times. Um, I wasn't living a healthy lifestyle. I just wasn't generally a good person. And as I've looked back at it over the course of, of, of my years, I can always look back to this turning point in my life as a teenager where it all kind of went wrong. And I was a, a junior in high school. There were some changes in my family dynamics that um, gave me a lot of freedoms that I didn't otherwise have. There just quite frankly wasn't um, supervision that much for me at home. And I started, you know, running around with a suit and group of kids, making bad decisions. There was no one there for the most part to correct me. And it led me down this path where, you know, I became um, a challenge. I mean, I, I was, I was, you know, not going to class when I was there. I wasn't paying attention. I did the least amount possible just to get through school. And the only reason I went to, to school and even gave any attempt at grades was so that I could stay on the sports teams. <clears throat> Although what ended up happening was um, my behavior um, got me suspended, which eventually got me kicked off of both the basketball team and the baseball team the same year because I got suspended from school. And the reality is, 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 is what, what our kids or my son right now is dealing with as a, a, a 16 year old boy could end the same way. Um, you know, he, he, he lost uh, a season of spring sports. He was thinking about going out for track or this would have been a great opportunity for him. This AAU season, he uh, ended a, a phenomenal uh, high school basketball season, uh, really was at the, the peak of his game and would have had the opportunity to go into AAU and was going to play at the U18 level. So he was going to play at the, the highest grade level in, 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 in AAU. Um, and that's a, the, 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 the biggest exposure to, to college coaches that anybody that plays um, AAU basketball typically gets. It's your junior and senior, senior year, unless you're a, a, a phenom, where the coaches are, are heavily recruiting kids in their junior and senior year or the summer after their junior year. And that's potentially gone. I mean, we would have already been in probably two or three tournaments um, without knowing how this unfolds over the next 30 days. Um, we would have played in another three to four tournaments and you only play about seven to eight tournaments a year. So he may have effectively lost his entire AAU season. And it's not necessarily about that opportunity or those games being gone. It's about how that feels 
very similar to what I went through my junior year where that was, it wasn't taken from me. I lost it because I, I was a knucklehead and got suspended in school. And then without those sports to keep me focused, I focused on something else. At that point, it was running around, partying, chasing girls, doing everything other than really what I should have been doing. And that took me down a path where I barely graduated high school. Um, I ended up having to be um, in summer school the first two months um, or getting a tutor. The, I, I, failed, I failed 11th grade English. Then I failed summer school because I missed the last day. I overslept on the last day of summer school and missed. Um, so I did not graduate from summer school, uh, which was 11th grade English. So I started my senior year in a junior homeroom. Uh, and I had to go get a tutor. I remember I rode my bike. Uh, it was like five miles and I had to go to this tutor. It was over here, actually right across from where my office is um, in the Kingston Square Shopping Center. And I had to get enough credits to make up for my 11th grade English class. And then I got moved to um, a 12th grade homeroom. Um, and then I just never caught up. I mean, it took me 10 years. Everybody else left and went to college. Um, I played my senior year of baseball. Um, but, you know, what the damage had been done to my grades, and, and, and I remember saying back then that I had zero interest in college. I, I had just, you know, spent um, the last 12 years in school, the, the, the last two years of high school, um, to me, felt like an inconvenience to what I wanted to be doing in my personal time. So what happened was, is that uh, roughly 12-month time frame where I didn't have sports, um, I, 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 you know jeopardized and lost out on all the opportunities I had to potentially go to college, either by, by way of sports, which for me would have been baseball. Um, and then I just, I was, I was done. I couldn't recover. Um, everybody else graduated high school, went off to college or had, uh, you know, done, done some type of trade school and had a good job right out of high school. And I was living in an, a friend of mine's basement and was hanging out like it was senior week, um, every night. And, had a couple jobs, lost a couple jobs, got fired from four or five, six jobs, and then finally joined the military, got into the military. Um, and then, you know, the, the rest was, was, was a positive, um, rebuilding phase for me, but it, it took me 10 years. I was, um, not until I was about 27, 28 years old. Um, when I found out that I was having, um, a child and, and, and Camden was, was being born is when I finally turned the corner and started to become, a responsible adult. And I just think about that, that patch of time where I lost an entire year of sports. I lost an entire year of focus on my, my, my academics. Um, I, I lost what at that point had been my identity, which was a, a good student, an honor roll student. Um, I worked hard in sports. I was a, a well-behaved kid at home. And that little patch of time where my family dynamic changed. And again, I'm not saying it's the same thing as, as, as what we're dealing with, with the Corona, but it is, I mean, there's a lot of kids that, that their normal schedule, their home life is being impacted by this in a negative way. Um, their sports being taken away from them, um, strips away, you know, a lot of, of the opportunities, um, that could unfold or develop. I mean, how many kids this year would have earned scholarships in spring sports and tracker and baseball where now those opportunities are gone? And now if they don't get that scholarship to go to college, maybe they don't have the funding or the financial support um, or even the desire. Maybe they don't want to go to college because they can't play sports. And if, if this is the difference between them going to college and not going to college, that could change the, the, the outlook of their life forever. So I'm like, I feel sorry for my son. I mean, he lost an entire year at this point of AAU, which I think would have, he had a great opportunity to potentially capture the attention of college coaches this year. He was playing at a high level. He was, he made one of the best teams in this area, was gonna play an age group up, and we were gonna play a high exposure schedule. And now he'll never get that opportunity back. We're gonna work hard to keep him focused. We're gonna work hard to create more opportunities, but not every kid has that same opportunity. Some kids are seniors and, and, and now they don't have that, that next year. And that's what, what I think a lot of people lose sight of with, with what's going on and don't realize about people wanting to get their lives back is that this could potentially have a negative impact on some of these kids for the rest of their life. 
That could be the difference between them going to college, getting a great education, playing sports, um, building great relationships with the people that they go to school with, getting a great job, or taking 10 years to rebuild, or 10 years to get back on track, or maybe they never get back on track. So just something to consider, you know, when, when you think about um, different people, we're not all in the same boat. I'm worried about my son more so than I am any part about my business. I can adapt. Um, I've been around long enough to understand what to do, how to protect my business, how to, how to uh, put us in a position to, to not only survive, but, but, but prosper and thrive throughout this, this opportunity, which is essentially what it is um, if, if you take advantage of it. <laughs> So what I'm really worried about is, is, is my son and other kids like him that will never get this year back. No one, no one remembers, um, unless you had some, some huge, um, event that took place, uh, you're, you're the, the, the year you were 31. Everybody remembers the year that you were 16 and 17 and 18 in high school. Those are, those are memories and decisions that mold and decide who you'll be probably for the rest of your life. And, Every kid like mine, or at least my kid at the age of 16, had something that was taken away from him and, and continues to be a threat that more, like this football season, the, the kid's working his ass off. He's, he, he has the chance to be one of the most dynamic, exciting players in York County football. He has a chance to draw attention. He has a, t a chance to establish communication and, get, and gain attention from college coaches that could lead him into his senior year, um, earn him a college education and a scholarship or the opportunity to just play sports at the college level with or without a scholarship, which I think would be a monumental step in the right direction for him. And what you got to realize is when these things all start to be taken away, and if your kid's not in AAU or your kid didn't play spring sports or you don't have an experience like I had when, when, when things went bad for me when I was 16, I became a loser at the age of 16. And when I think about it, the circumstances were a lot like what a lot of our kids are dealing with now as a result of, of, of this lockdown. Everything that I cared about, once I, once I got kicked off the baseball team, I didn't give a shit about anything. The only reason for me to go to class at that point was to stay on the baseball team. So once I didn't have the baseball team, I didn't care. I just decided I wasn't going to do the work that came along with 11th grade English, and I failed. I failed 11th grade. And why? Because I didn't have baseball. When you boil it down to, to the, the bare minimum for me and my little pea brain at that time, I said, screw 11th grade because I can't play baseball. And if I can't play baseball, I don't care. And it took me 10 years to recover from that. I paid a dear price. And a lot of what was going on in my life at that point, which wasn't because of, of a virus or wasn't because of a quarantine, it had to do with my personal family situation. But the net result was the same. And that's what I worry about. And that's what makes me so passionate about wanting to get out of the house and want to go back to work and let these kids go back to playing sports. And I understand that there's people out there that are, that are at threat or, or at risk or don't feel comfortable. And that is your right. You are, you are able to make that decision to, to, to live your life under those, 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 you know, circumstances. We just can't make decisions that, that potentially rob people of opportunity. And that's what's happening. Whether you realize it or not, I'm telling you firsthand that, I, that when I was 16 years old, it wasn't because of, of a virus, but I, I was left with no sports. I was left with minimal supervision. My parents are too busy working or fighting or split up or whatever it is. And if you think about a lot of what's happening now and you read the statistics about, you know, um, how, how this additional stress is, is, is forcing people towards domestic violence, it's forcing people towards, um, you know, potential separations and divorces because their, their relationship is, is being strained because of being in, in the same house for 24 hours a day or the financial strain that comes along with it. I'm telling you that there's going to be kids that miss out on the next two or three years of these opportunities that change their life for 10 years. I went through it and I wouldn't change it for the world. I think it's who makes me who I am today, but I don't need my son to go through that same shit. I've worked my whole life to give him opportunities so that he didn't have to go through what I went through and I'm not willing to give it up right now. I understand the risk and I believe in my ability to be able to mitigate those risks. I want my son to play basketball. I want him to be able to play football. And you can't tell me that he can't do it. 
So just consider that when you shame somebody for wanting to leave the house. It's just not fair.